So to get the bolts on the engine housing, um, use a 10 millimeter um, by 100 millimeter, and it's got a 1.25 inch um, pitch. So that's what I used. Um, I'm removing the motor mounts, uh, two bolts on each side, and then the main bolt, and there's ones on the other side as well. Alright, and then same on the other side, like this. Can you even see that on this side? Mounts up like that. Get the oil pan off. So there's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts go all the way around. You take everything off. So after you get all the bolts off, um, you gotta get a scraper. And you chisel it all the way across to get all the goo out of the oil pan. Otherwise it's not gonna come off. And then you pull it off. And you have access to everything underneath. All right, and then next we gotta get the uh, oil pump screen off and the plate here so you can see through to the crankshaft. Just takes a looks like a couple 10 uh, millimeter bolts and it'll be off. So I didn't really get a chance to show you guys this today because I uh, forgot the camera before I went in the shop but uh, basically what I did was took all the outside dressings off the engine today and I've got another engine here so I can basically show you what I did. First off I took the oil pan off, um, did all, took all the bolts off and then scraped the uh, the goop off there and then, you know, obviously bag all the bolts and stuff and keep them with what you need. Um, the next thing I did was take off the oil splash screen right here. And, you know, I just had a couple bolts. You can't really see that because it's really shiny. Um, and then, obviously, you take off oil pump screen. See, I have it all written out there. It was just two bolts. Um, then, you know, you've got to remove a couple things like the oil cooler here. Um... And there's a couple, I'm going to say, yeah, on this side, to remove it, there is a, there's a, uh, a six-point um, screw on here that you loosen, and you pull the top assembly off, and then there's another six-point thing you loosen inside of here. So you have to loosen the top one, you pull this top assembly off, I don't know if you can, I don't know if I could show you, yeah, this top assembly right here comes off, see how it moves? Once you pull that off, there's another screw in there that allows you to pull this whole assembly off the engine and make sure you bag it up and you know label it and all that stuff um, the next thing I did was pull off the oil assembly, the uh, oil pump assembly and the cam sprocket and the cam sprocket looks like it's pressed into the engine which is this guy right here but it's really not um, all you have to do is get like a flathead behind here and kinda gudge it out a little bit make sure not to bend any of those teeth though because uh, if you put that back on the engine your car is going to be doing all kinds of funky things because once those teeth bend your um, your crank position sensor will not like that and it'll get off timing all this stuff all this weird stuff so basically I pulled off this whole water pump assembly right here just a couple bolts undo all the lines comes off as one piece and you pull this whole assembly off same thing you gotta pull the this off first and then I pulled this whole assembly off over here as well same thing now the next thing that we're gonna be getting into is pulling these out right there. Those allow you um, to get into the engine and actually pull uh, C clips out. You pull C clips out of there, and then you have to get a super special tool to pull the gudget wrist pins out. Um, it's kind of a weird looking tool. I'm going to fabricate something because I'm not spending 150 bucks to do it. Um, there's another way to do it, so I'll, I'll show you guys that next week. Or actually, yeah. All right.